Renowned guitarist and lawyer Matthew Seligman has died of COVID-19 at the age of 64. He is best known for his work as musician as part of the Thompson Twins and the Dolphin Brothers, along with backing David Bowie at Live Aid in 1985. In statement from his friend and colleague, solicitor Rod Campbell, Taylor said, My friend and colleague Matthew Seligman died late yesterday, April 17, aged 64 after nearly two weeks battling COVID-19 on ventilator at St. George Hospital, London. He leaves behind son, Deji, and daughter, Lily and Mommy, his partner and Lily's mother. During the 1980s, he was member of Thompson Twins and the Soft Boys, as well as working as sideman for Thomas Dolby. He garnered renown as Sessions musician and collaborator working with Morrissey, Sinead O'Connor, Transvision Vamp, and David Bowie. He famously backed Bowie at the Live Aid concert in 1985. Matthew changed direction in the 1990s by going to law school and obtaining highly sought-after pupillage alongside future Labour peer Shami Chakrabarti at leading London Chamber. His career as lawyer took him across the globe to Japan and back, with his last few years spent working as human rights lawyer in North London. Seligman had sadly had to face the recent death of his brother from causes unrelated to the coronavirus, whilst he himself battled with COVID-19. Mr. Campbell, Taylor added, Matthew had spent the previous six months providing care and support to his brother, while he moved with ever-increasing frequency between home and hospital where it appears likely he contracted the virus. Matthew had been actively sending messages from hospital as he was treated for the coronavirus. When Matthew found out he had what appeared to be COVID-19, his first concern was that he might have been the Trojan horse spreading the infection to colleagues, added Mr. Campbell, Taylor. Even after being admitted to hospital Matthew continued to send WhatsApp messages about his own and other people's cases, as well as offerings of support to staff member whose mother was also in hospital, right up to being intubated. Matthew's last message to colleagues was about case he had been working up for the previous six months on behalf of severely disabled client, who like all his clients was bereft to learn he was in intensive care.